On today's video, I am gonna show you exactly how to clean your Fujifilm camera's sensor. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. Today we're talking about exactly how to clean your Fujifilm X-T5's camera sensor. Now you can apply these steps that I'm about to show you to any Fujifilm camera that was released as of the date of this video and that has an IBIS mechanism. That of course would include the X-T5, X-T4, X-S20, X-H2 and 2S and some GFX models. Oh, we've got a quick disclaimer. Your camera sensor is obviously a very expensive part of your camera. And like anything else you do with your camera, watching this video, you assume all risk and all responsibility for whatever happens when you clean your sensor, okay? I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just saying, honestly, you've got nothing to be intimidated by. It is easier than you think. Just follow my directions and you'll be on your way. So when you have a dirty sensor, that will result in photos that often look like this. However, the first thing that you should ask yourself is, are those dust spots coming from the sensor or perhaps the lens? So to test that out, you might wanna put a different lens on your camera just to make sure. Now, of course, you could do a visual inspection of your sensor. However, you're not gonna see the problem as clearly as if you went and shot a special test photo. And here is exactly how you do that. You point your camera at at something white. For example, I'm gonna point it at this light right here, just like this. You can even point it at your computer monitor and perhaps open up a blank Google Doc or whatever it is, make sure that it's bright and it covers the entire frame. And so what you wanna do is stop down your lens as low as you can get. In this case, it's gonna be F16. I also strongly recommend putting your ISO dial into the lowest native ISO so that you have the least amount of noise. And then what you wanna do is adjust your shutter speed so that the light is bright and it covers the entire frame. And lastly, you might want to consider putting the focus mode into manual and then just focusing to infinity. Once you've done that, go ahead and take the shot. You should be able to see any sensor dust problems fairly easily. And a tip, if you're using Lightroom, you can also adjust this setting right here, which will invert the image and you can see them much more clearly. To properly clean your sensor, you're going to need two pieces of equipment. First is an air blower. They come in large, medium, small, different sizes. I prefer the larger size, but you need some way to blow air into the sensor area. And I highly recommend this one right here. The second item you're gonna need is a sensor cleaning kit. Now the kit comes with two things. It comes with a little bottle of cleaning fluid as well as some sensor swabs. You're gonna be using those sensor swabs to actually clean the sensor. So the important consideration in getting a sensor cleaning kit is the size. If you're cleaning an X-T5 camera, you want to get a size 2. If you've got a camera I didn't mention, or if you're still unsure about it, go to the Fujifilm X website, pull up your camera, go to the specs page, and take a look at the size of your sensor. You want to make sure that the dimension of the short end of your sensor matches the kit's size that you're going to buy. I got the 16 millimeter size. It's not going to be exact, but you want to get it as close as you can. So let's get started now and clean our camera's sensor. The first thing you wanna do is go into your Fujifilm camera's menu into the little camera icon right here and turn IS mode to off. You are also gonna to wanna to switch the camera over to movie mode and then go back into the menu right here where you see all of the movie shooting options and make sure that IBIS is turned off here as well, just to be safe. This is gonna help lock the IBIS unit while we're cleaning the sensor. Next, you wanna go into your shutter mode and set it to electronic shutter. This will eliminate any chance whatsoever of the shutter curtain moving or activating or anything else. Next, you wanna go down to the wrench into button dial setting and make sure that shoot without lens is turned off. Remember, your lens is not gonna be attached to the camera, but you do not want to accidentally press down on the shutter release and start taking a photo in the middle of trying to clean your sensor, so that will help prevent that. The next step while you're in this screen right here is go down to power management and make sure that auto power off is turned off. 
This will prevent the camera from automatically turning itself off while you're in the middle of cleaning the sensor. And this leads me to my final step, which may seem weird to you, but make sure that your camera remains on. Having the camera on, but with IBIS turned off, will help make sure the IBIS unit stays put while you're cleaning the sensor. So keep your camera on. So the very first thing you wanna do is arrange all your equipment right in front of you so that you have it handy before you start cleaning your sensor. What I would recommend is getting a sensor swab ready to go. This way you're not having to waste any time in getting the equipment ready for your sensor. Sometimes, depending upon the level of dirt on the sensor, you may have to do it twice, so I take out two sensor swabs. You always want to avoid touching the wide part of the sensor swab, so be careful when you open it. Now, assuming you've made all the setting changes I talked about earlier, you're ready to go. Your camera is now on, and go ahead and take the lens off. The next thing you wanna do is take your blower and blow out any dust that's in here. Hold the camera so the sensor is facing down, take the blower and just blow it out like this. Be very careful though not to jam the tip of this into the sensor, okay? Just kind of pay attention to what you're doing. Lay your camera down on the flat surface. And what you're gonna do next is put the cleaning fluid on the sensor swab. There are two very important things to remember when you're doing that. The first is don't put more than two drops. It may seem like you wanna put a lot on there to really get it clean. You'll wind up putting residue on the sensor, so don't do that. And the second thing is once you open this up, right, and you actually put it on the swab, you need to then clean your sensor immediately because this fluid dries like that. It evaporates, right? So you wanna do it within seconds after you put it on the swab. And as a reminder, don't be putting drops on the swab holding it over your camera sensor. You might drip it in there, okay? Do it away from your camera when you're doing that. So you put one drop on one side, then turn it over and put the other drop on the other side. So once you've added cleaning fluid to your sensor swab, basically what you're gonna be doing is you make one sweep across the sensor this way, stop, and then you'll go back. Once again, you slide it in one direction, stop, tilt the swab the other way without taking it out, and go back lift it straight up. Now, as far as how much pressure to apply when you're dragging the swab across your sensor, you don't wanna do it too hard and you don't wanna do it too soft either. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this in real time. One drop on one side, turn it over, one drop on the other side. If you happen to notice any residue on your sensor when you're done swabbing it, go ahead and get another swab and do the same thing again, and that should clear it up. Once you're all finished with the cleaning part, go ahead and take your blower and once again, blow out your sensor just like this, and then back the lens goes on the camera and you're good to go. So at this point, you can go ahead and repeat the photo test that I talked about earlier, bring the image into your editor, and then check how you did. Now, depending upon how dirty your sensor is, you may need to do another cleaning, but I would check it first. Most likely you got almost all of it, if not all of it. So before I go, I wanna tell you four things. First, never use this on your sensor, okay? <laughs> never spray compressed air into your sensor. It will wreck your sensor and it'll make me mad, bad, and sad. Don't do that. Instead, just use these blowers here, okay? Number two, don't forget to put your camera back to the settings you had before you started cleaning your sensor, right? Take it out of electronic shutter, put back IBIS and so forth. Just reverse what you did. Now for number three, I realize that these can be expensive and that there are other cheaper options out there. Absolutely. For this video, which I have aimed at absolute beginners who might lack the confidence to start cleaning their sensor for the first time, I honestly think these are the way to go. I will have links to them down in the description, but that's the reason I went with these kits versus, you know, maybe some cheaper options. And the last thing I wanna say, if you've watched the video this far and you've been paying attention and you've been following and taking notes on the steps and you're either about to clean your sensor or you already have, I want you to know 
Your Uncle Pal the Tech is proud of you because this can be daunting, okay? This can be frightening. It's not. It doesn't have to be. Your camera sensor is actually behind a piece of glass. So you're really just cleaning the glass. Be careful. It's still, you got to pay attention, but it's not as fragile and easy to, you know, break by barely touching it as you would think. You've got this. Go forth, clean your sensor. And in the meantime, that'll do it for this video. <laughs> it took all of these swabs because I had to shoot close-ups and I had to keep doing it over and over again. But you know what? It's worth it. And thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I'm going to be signing off now, but have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in a new video next week. Take care. Thank you.